Hey everybody, it's me Wes here. Welcome to another magic video. Today we're going to be seeing the differences between these bundles. Uh, we got March of the Machine and March of the Machine the Aftermath. So this is like Infinity War Endgame. <laughs> There's other comparisons you can make, but anyways. Um, first difference is obviously the price tag. This was $40 new. This one's $50 new. Um... Another difference, obviously, is the artwork. This one says, guaranteed foil and showcase card. And this one comes with eight set boosters. That's what they kind of highlight on the front. We got different symbols. And then, oops, wait, this is, oh, they have the, oh, I just, okay, I flipped it the wrong way. <laughs> there we go, Ooh, boom, all right, yeah. So here's the back. All right, so the aftermath, comes with 20 additional traditional foil and 20 regular basic lands, the special oversized spin down. Uh, we'll get to that last. They got the alt art traditional foil spark rapture, and of course the box itself. So this is the interesting part. They come with eight five card March of the Machine, the Aftermath epilogue boosters, plus two reference cards. So this is an epilogue booster, so it means there's only five cards, and it's more like based on uh, the storyline, if I remember correctly. All right, so this is your more traditional bundle. Same land, same oversized die. I mean, different different color schemes and stuff. Box. And then you get the alt art traditional foil, Garta and Ma Maverin. <laughs> but this one, you get the traditional like set boosters. So, pretty nice. All right, let's get them open. But yeah, I realized there was two of these, or like, there's two March of the Machine type sets, I guess, now. It's kind of weird that they came out, them, came out with them so soon. But, uh, yeah, I had to, I had to figure out what the heck's going on here. What the heck? Lost your spark? <laughs> So your ability to teleport across the multiverse is gone. No problem. Follow these step tips to maintain freedom of movement. <laughs> Without planeswalking, there's just plain walking. <laughs> it's easy and fun. <laughs> Holy crap. Expect long waits at travel security checkpoints. <laughs> Get creative. It's about the journey, not the destination. Take a gamble and venture through the omen paths. Who who knows where you'll go? <laughs> that's freaking funny, dude. Oh, that's cool. Sweet sea guidance, find glory. Scan here to learn about about what the gene after miss collectible tree collectible treatments. What do you mean by treatments? Hmm. All right, well, here's the box. Doop -a doo doop -a doo same thing. Oh, okay. Next. Unite the universe, fight to survive. Does this one have one? Nope. Ooh. So here's this one. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Nice. Box. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, ye. Right. Oh, this one doesn't have a symbol. Oh, oh well. Some of them have symbols, I don't realize, and some of them don't. Alright. Okay, so. Take out the thing we have finished. So these are pretty much the same. Those are different, obviously. Here. Oh, I guess this one is a little bit more. And then, boom. Cool. And then, here we go. Oh, so this one, interesting. Let's switch one to this one. No, so the epilogue booster has like its own like cubbies and things, but this one, it just kind of was in there floating. Interesting. So, yeah. Here's the 
one from the regular March of the Machine. And oh. it's kind of cool actually. I'm gonna keep that. I could have separate the die. And here's the aftermath one. Whoa. Whoops. Dude, it's got like glitter and it's really hard to see. But like when it's in the light, you can see like it all the glitter inside. That's kind of cool. Cuckoo. All right. So we got, yeah, the Spark Rapture one. There's the planes and stuff. Oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Sick. That's so sick. Oh, it's a vamp. I didn't know this was a vampire. Bruh. Might need to revise my vampire deck. So at least to go over here. Yeah, there's that. Okay. So basically what I'm gonna, all I'm going to do next is just open one pack each and kind of show the difference. So first off, <laughs> look how small this one is compared to this one. So yeah, I think I'm gonna just open a regular one first because you know everyone knows what the regular one is. So we'll see the new one for last. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's a trash can over here. Okay. Got the soldier. Ooh. Cliff Charger. Whoops. Oh, it's part of a battle. Sweet. I need to get actually into these and figure out how to use them. This one too? Oh, sick, dude. Oh, is that opening up backwards? That's awkward. I should have known that because of the soldier. There's the art card, swamp, meeting of minds, shadow the source, spy charge. Stoke the flames. The furnace gremlin. It's kind of sick. I love the Phyrexian stuff. Ooh. Nice. Pirate prank star. Which turns into glistening Gormonga. So good. Another battle. Dude, this one was packed chock full of battles. Tetsuku Omizawa Fugitive. Dude. I love the stained glass artwork. It looks so cool to me. And then, yeah, those two other battles. So, yeah, that's basically what that looks like. And here's what this looks like. So we got a Tularian Contempt. Interesting. Kolagha War Manga. Interesting. A Plargnosari. An Orc Ephraim. Interesting. Being a revision of the card from the top of that area until the exile. An online card, an opponent chooses an online card. That's why you may cast up to two spells from among the other players. Other cards exiled this way with the benefits. So that's pretty sure. Cosmic Rebirth. Whoa. Canvas Royal Funeral. Holy cow. Like, I feel like that's different. Oh, is it not? Wait. I feel like there's the hollow. It looks a little different to me. Interesting. And yeah, just a thopta. Yeah, that's what all it is, honestly. The epilogue just has. Oh no! The five cards. And they're supposed to be more, like, tied to the story, I guess. And I haven't really gotten to the story. I probably should. But, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. If it was worth even buying an epilogue or an Aftermath bundle. It's a $10 difference. So, I mean, maybe that's maybe that does make it worth it. Because, I mean, they, they knock it down 10 bucks for the lack of cards, I guess. But, yeah, I think it's weird that... Um, Man, uh, Wizard of the Coast did this, honestly. Because, like, I don't know. Getting a five card booster reminds me of buying dollar packs at the dollar store for Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> when they had, like, five cards in them, but they were crappy. These ones look, seem pretty nice, actually.
I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I definitely prefer just getting a full pack. And especially the set boosters for Mark's Machine have been pretty sick. So, anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm not going to open up everything else. But, um, I mean, on camera, I should say. So, anyways. Peace.